a butcher shop in a Muslim area of Paris. But this is no ordinary butcher shop. Our cameraman was warned to stop filming. Why? Why would a butcher shop care if it was being filmed? One reason, according to an Islamic expert we consulted, is that our cameraman, who is not a Muslim, was unclean. This is a halal butcher shop. Muslim halal food is creeping into the food chain, not only in France, but worldwide and in the United States. Halal is the Arabic term meaning legal or permissible. For me to be halal, a Muslim must chant, in the name of Allah, Allah is the greatest, before slitting the throat of a fully conscious animal with a knife and while facing in the direction of Mecca. The halal food market in France is estimated at seven billion dollars and has doubled in five years. France's second largest fast food chain, Quick, is now serving only halal menus in 22 of its restaurants targeting France's large Muslim population. But Quick's halal burger stands in France are almost completely owned by the French government, which means the French government, whose constitution mandates strict secularism, is in the religious food business. Leading the fight against quick sale of halal food is Charles Aslangoul, a 21-year-old city councilman, college student, and president of the Republican Order. We respect all religions, but I want to maintain the wall between the French state and the religious, and between a state-owned company and a religious food product. This should not happen with public money. But Aslan Ghul says the media treated him like a fascist, and he was eventually charged with hate speech. A court found him innocent, and now the young French politician is suing quick for false accusation. Islam is trying to impose itself in the public area. I'm not stigmatizing Islam, I am simply describing the situation, when Islam's radical wing tries to impose itself over our Republican laws. A lot of people are probably wondering what's the big deal about halal food. But it's a very big deal to those French who are worried about the growing Islamization of their country. They see it as yet another example of France bowing to Islam. Alain Wagner is a French activist with the Alliance Against Sharia. Islam is introducing Sharia in our society. And it's not, that's not clear for people. When you see halal food in, 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 in shops and you say, well, it's just a kind of, it's just a kind of food, no problem. No, it's a Sharia. And experts say some of the proceeds from halal food indirectly support Islamic terrorism. When a French consumer buys halal food, part of the price paid goes as a fee to halal Islamic experts, some of which are certified by the UOIF, the Union of Islamic Organizations in France, which the Simon Wiesenthal Center says has strong ties to the Muslim Brotherhood, a political organization that supports terrorism. When French journalist and author Alex Delval began investigating how the Muslim Brotherhood was attempting a mafia-style takeover of France's halal food industry, his life was threatened. 60%, nearly 60% of halal food in France is controlled by organizations belonging to uh, the Muslim Brotherhood. It's why we must stop those people to control the shops, halal shop. It's the main financement of Muslim Brotherhood. Halal food is also spreading throughout Britain. A London Daily Mail investigation found that Britain's major supermarket chains, fast food restaurants, even some hospitals and schools were serving halal food without telling those who were eating it. Some British Parliament members were reportedly outraged to learn that they were secretly served halal meat. In Canada, Campbell's now sells a line of halal certified products. And in the United States, McDonald's, Walmart, and Whole Foods now offer halal choices. In North America, one of the halal certification organizations is the Islamic Society of North America, which was an unindicted co-conspirator in the Holy Land Foundation terror trial, because it was tied to the terror group Hamas, which is an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood. One of the objections to halal food is that it contains a tax that non-Muslims pay when they buy it. Del Val says halal food has been a brilliant political and economic strategy for the Muslim Brotherhood. The food was uh, uh, two victories in one. We split people, we divide two societies inside of a society, and we make money. Wagner warns Western societies about accepting halal food and says it should not be compared to kosher food. No, it's not like kosher food. Kosher eating people are not preaching for the destruction of democracy. Halal food is a sharia, and we need to ban any sharia-related thing in our society. Dale Hurd, CBN News, Paris.